right, y'all. Day 85. I'm sorry, day 86, huh? Just got back to Killington. It's 9.43. I just heard my boxes are here, so I've been rushing to get over here. And uh, we're going hiking today, y'all, I think. I'll get back with you. All right, y'all. It's 11.10. Day 86. We're on the trail. Don't know how far we'll get today. I'll at least go 18. If uh, the universe is willing to let me get there. And then... um. We'll see what we do from there. There's a good shelter there. I think it's the lookout or something. It's supposed to have great views, even though it's gonna cloud up tonight. All right, I'll catch up with you if there's anything to see. All right, y'all, so, hey, it just feels good to be on the trail. I hate getting such a late start, but it don't matter. I'm walking northbound, baby. My pack is as heavy as it's been since I switched to this new ruck. I'm probably definitely pushing its max weight limit, probably over it. To miss the ER, I keep bragging on her for being such a good trail boss, and maybe a slight problem with the wife being the trail boss is they care so much about you that she keeps stuff and little extra stuff in the food box that she sends. And normally that's good because I'm in a hotel and I can sort through it and get rid of what I don't need. Today I was at a post office, so I put too much in my pack because now it was just like I was back at Walmart again, right? I have all this food available. I don't want to throw it, or I'm sorry, put it in a hiker box or send it back to her because what if I need it? What if I'm hungry? <laughs> and she thinks about that the same way. So I have too much food again. And I did send some of it home back home. So anyway, Teresa, as you help Kurt out, definitely uh, keep in mind that whatever you send, he's got to carry on his back. And I think if, I know it's hard for the spouses, man. Better too much than too little. But uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. Whatever you send, depending on where they're at, they may have to throw it in their backpack and walk up giant mountains like I'm about to have to walk up. Love you, babe, you're the best trail boss in the world. I think the name of this is Thundering Falls. How freaking gorgeous is that? What? What? Gorgeous. Oh, this is beautiful. And then you stare at that. That's what we're about to climb. All right, if anybody's watching this channel from Vermont and help out clearing the trail, man, like, it needs some work. And this isn't me being critical. This is just me getting lost about every 20 yards because you cannot tell where the trail is. There's so many blow downs and very little paint on the trees. If I didn't have gut hooks, I'm not sure I could follow the dang trail today. And I'll show you why. Like that right there ahead, that is the trail. But there's, you can barely faintly see some white on that tree, but it almost looks like um, part of the tree. And then what sucks is there's so many blowdowns, we're having to walk around it and just tromp on all this nice, pretty vegetation. It's probably some of it's rare, so I hate doing that too. So anyway, I hope some trail maintenance volunteers can make it out soon, because it's pretty bad. Give a shout out to Red Mage, his new walking buddy. Uh, watching his videos, making good progress. Congrats on dropping that one, man. You know, you cross the halfway point, and that's big. But I texted my whole family when I dropped that one and made it down to 999. And told them that everything, that all the milestones I've reached on the trail, that was the most significant to me. Just to get rid of that thousand mark. So I know that felt good, buddy. Uh... Shout out the logo, the black elation. Man, I can't, I ain't watched one of those videos, I don't think, where I haven't physically laughed out loud. Uh, my favorite so far is he's in the tent. It's early in the morning. He's got the light shining on his face, kind of like I do. He's like, hopefully y'all can see me because it's, it's kind of dark and I'm kind of black. <laughs> oh, that cracked me up. You're a funny, funny man. 
doing good too buddy hang in there man um another shout out to not by sight disciples doing good post a new video man i need to watch it i'll watch it this evening if i have any kind of coverage and i know uh Teresa, you're you're doing great too and a major shout out to gucci girl and grumpy and roger and gail for all y'all are doing for the through hikers of 2017 like man what y'all did for me was over the top and what you did for red mage is like the next level so good to see so selfless thank y'all for being a part of this community man um jay on the trail i watched some of their videos a couple of days ago looks like they're doing great they made it into virginia um and damascus which is awesome i think they were going to stay at woodchuck um which i know they enjoyed who wouldn't so in the end shout out to them there's so many more that i'm enjoying watching but those are the the major ones that i tune into as soon as i get up on the channel oh and uh oh don't let me forget greeter greeter is awesome and uh, he just got to go into Boston and see the wife so I know that was refreshing and hopefully energizing and he gets back on trail tomorrow so just in time for that rain freaking Vermont it's not Vermont it's ver flood that's all it does in this state is rain y'all really do I turn the camera on when I'm out of breath like this. Who out there, the older generation, knows the group Nazareth? They're the group that sang Herod of the Dog, which goes, now you're messing with a, a son of a bleep. So that was a good song. I also came out with a song called Love Hurts. And that'd be my theme song today. Because I got about a 20 pound food bag that my wife, who loves me more than anything, sent. So I called it the first, top of the first mountain. I was like, if you were trying to kill me by sending me all this food, you almost accomplished it. And she almost just did again. She's like, well, you should have just left what you don't want. <laughs> and I was like, that's why I got you sending it, because I can't control it. Like, that's like sending 20 pounds of crack to a crack addict saying hey man just uh just set aside what you ain't going what you don't want to smoke it ain't gonna happen i'm carrying food because i love to eat and all the stuff she sent is fabulous so what am i gonna cull peanut butter no man i gotta carry the peanut butter what if i want some peanut butter uh, anyway whew. i haven't been this heavy probably since i'm a Kalola. i'm gonna go to the camp tonight and I'm going to eat till I about puke. And I'm going to do it again in the morning. And then we'll see how how much weight we got rid of. Greeter and Red Mage. I single you two out because y'all are the closest behind me. Um, Man, Killington or Rutland. Really good natural pause to stop at. Because you have just climbed over Little Killington. Walked beside Big Killington. And come way down a hill. When you hit four, that's a good place to stop because if you keep going, you're going to hit the two hills that I just came up and I would not, I mean, I've done some dumb stuff since I've been out here, like hit three ridges at freaking six o'clock at night and crap, which hindsight says I wouldn't do that again, but I would not continue on past Killington with, or Rutland without at least taking a night and, and recovering because those are going to, that's going to be a huge day if you try that back to back, just suggesting all right y'all this is a storm stony brick i'm sorry stony creek shelter i think this is the first shelter that you come to um when you leave killington definitely not much to talk about but the floor is kind of big you could definitely fit some people in there if you got creative kind of like that some of the shelters lately if you're a tall dude man your feet are hanging over just waiting for the down trail porcupine to come get you all right Got a privy, little fire pit, and that's about it. See that right there, y'all? Some of y'all were talking about that. Some of y'all don't know what that is. 
That's the king size right there, though. Y'all gotta be careful. You step up on that. That's the big boy. Tearing it up. I think zero bars are probably an acquired taste, but I love them. Grew up eating them. Love them. This is the water spot for uh, Stony Brook Shelter. Now you know why they call it Stony Brook. Very cool looking. Very, very good water source, obviously. Love it. Shelter not so nice. Water source, perfect. You could even swim in that in the summertime. You could lay down in there and take a cold plunge, recover, and be good. Thank you for the assist. Whoever put the ladder there. That just introduced the matrix back in my mind because now I'm thinking about, man, I had to clean them damn gutters when I get home. Ha! Uh, spray, pressure wash the back patio. Uh, that'll be good though. How can you beat it? You get done, you can go in your house, walk about 10 feet and turn on a faucet and get all the water you want. And go in the bathroom and take all the showers you want. Have a wardrobe full of clothes to put on clean. <sighs> Pantry full of food, refrigerator full of drinks. Yeah, those chores around the house aren't gonna seem too bad anymore. All you through hikers still down south in the mid-Atlantic enjoy the logistics, because I'm telling you, the Northeast and New England ain't no joke. It's tough. Definitely does not cater to hikers. Um, finding a pair of micro spikes. You know you can get them on Amazon, but then once you get up this far, there really ain't nowhere to send them. You can't send them to the post office. I just learned that. Um, anyway, we worked it out. We found some. I'm gonna pick them up tomorrow or the next day in Norwich. But it's a pain in the butt, man. So anyway. Enjoy your time when it's easy, because up here, I don't say it sucks, but it sucks. Some big old mountains off in the distance. Guessing those are the whites. They kind of meet the contour. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's Washington. You can see the, the big giant joker kind of right in the center of the screen right now, if y'all can see it. All right, here's the update, y'all. Me and Miss ER has been working out some logistics, A, to get the micro spikes. I'm in a good mood, too, because it's Friday, and I don't know why, because Fridays really mean nothing to me, except for, well, it's gonna rain this weekend, so, there won't be a lot of people out here, but normally Friday just means that the trail is going to be overcrowded for the next two days, but not so bad up here. Anyway, I digress. Um, so I'm only going to go to a shelter that's at mile marker 1720. That'll keep me right on my 20, um, 20 miles a day number. Because I 1720 would be the number for 86 days in. Then I'm gonna do probably about 20 more miles tomorrow. I'll have to look at the book and see where that shelter, see what's there. It's gonna start raining tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, and then the real rain's gonna hit Sunday and Monday morning, Sunday night. So the plan is hopefully to get into. Um, Ah, crap, I can't remember what the town... Oh, Norwich, which is the town right before you get into New Hampshire. Um, stop and get my micro spikes and then maybe stay at the end of Norwich or something they got right there. Checking in on Sunday morning and then just letting this nor'easter blow through and then starting hiking again sometime Monday morning. That's the plan going in. I'd like to go farther today, but... Again, man, after you pass this, you got the lookout shelter that's at mile marker 1718. That's the one Bigfoot said I should stop at. So I'm actually going to stop there and check it out because it sounds interesting from the guidebook and everything else. Then I'm going to move on to the to the next shelter. It's two miles down, and um, 
camp there because they have all the amenities man you got to hike your water in to look out and there's no tent in space or the shelter's not good we're not I, who knows we'll see when i get there man i may change my mind i'm just letting y'all know all the factors that go into this and y'all have heard it this whole through hike so all right it is almost five o'clock so it's another reason i'd like to go about five more miles past that second shelter and try to get to about 17 25 tonight but that puts me right at a road and the only water runs up through cow pastures so definitely not a good water source and there's not much water before it so i would be sitting there with not a lot and i almost died right there these freaking leaves right here man you cannot see these little roots that are hiding underneath it that are just toe trippers you hear bigfoot talking about our bigfoot big bird talking about them all the time too man i trip 50 times a day on those things but you can't see them carpet of little purple flowers up here very cool spring is just creeping in up here i'm at about 2500 feet down at uh, a thousand and below blooms are trees are in bloom and spring is hitting up here just barely before i forget i want to give a shout out to mrs s's sixth grade class she commented to me and said you guys are watching and you've got a map in your room track and that just blew me away that's so cool um, i'm trying to get more information so i know what school y'all are at and where you're at um and i give y'all a better shout out but just know that i'm uh, i'm humbled just that y'all are tracking this progress here and i will try not to let y'all down um it's a big responsibility when i know that classes like you guys are following so again i'll try not to let you down I might have to tell y'all earmuffs every now and then, so if I do it, Miss S, please make sure they do. All right. Oh yeah, last thing, Chetty Cat will hush then until I get to the shelter, hopefully. Because I've still got three miles, so I need to get moving. But, um, Hike a Day in May Facebook page is a hit. Like, that is awesome. And I am impressed that everybody's willingness to get out there and get right with nature get right with your body uh so cool don't stop at one i see a lot of you are doing multiple and uh hopefully at the end and that uh mile tracker that uh somebody came up with was fabulous so y'all make sure you log into the document or let him know how many miles you walk so he can plug it in and let's see how many we do all right y'all i'm inside the lookout pretty cool place um of course people leave trash well done nice marble box in the fireplace awesome uh, i got some fuel tanks over there somebody didn't want to carry out so that's sweet anyway i don't mean to be all negative this is a very cool place fortunately i don't have enough water so we are not staying here let's go up on top and i'll show you all that here's the outside look of it just a cool cabin um if you've seen any through hiker videos you have probably seen this i'll turn it back on when i get to the top of the ladder all right how about that oh vermont you gave me one how nice i love it i love it thank you for the gift might be my shelter down there. Now it's probably a house. Very cool. Very freaking cool. Hope y'all enjoyed that as much as I did. Thought I was going to, you'd figure up here, man, you'd have booming 4G service, but only one tiny little bar, barely. Um, I guess it is pretty remote, but uh, I was going to call Mrs. ER and video conference her so she could see this. That's such a cool ability, man. So 
hopefully y'all coming up hopefully you'll have horizon or something of the such to where you can maybe do some video conference calls with your loved ones and let them see what you're seeing because it's amazing i remember doing it in the smokies man it was so worth it I'll tell you how far we've come today if you can see over my shoulder right <laughs> oh god right over there that ain't working worth the crap anyway ski resort we've come a long way today that is uh that's killington right there so man we put on some miles not as many as i would like we got two more to get to the shelter really about two and a half so i need to get moving it's already 5 30. breathtaking man this is amazing all right y'all let's uh let's wrap up day 86 while i'm walking and then i may show you the shelter or whatnot at the end but <clears throat> that way it'll give me a little more time if we already have this knocked out um didn't think i'd be walking today so the fact that i'm out here and it's beautiful i'm stoked <clears throat> have to cross over this little water obstacle ah oh, not too bad anyway um got to mile marker or will be at mile marker 17 20.7 i think is what this shelter's at good lord at the water telling y'all man burn bud holding true uh bugs are back out today that's okay i got used to them before they're definitely not as bad as they were or as they will be i'm sure um when you leave Killington, you got some butt kicking coming. See Mrs. S sixth grade class? Now y'all already got me saying butt kicking instead of the other word. That's good. Yeah, that's some butt kicking. It's a bunch of elevators up and down. Some stiff ones too. Of the likes we hadn't seen in a while. Somebody told me that. Uh, that lives up here. Said yeah, it starts getting rough after the the long trail breaks off and they were right but that's okay tracks nice right now so the plan for tomorrow let's go and call it the nor'easter plan nor'easter plan is i get positioned close to norwich tomorrow um so sunday i can get in and hopefully get in the hotel sunday morning for the major parts of it hit Probably take a, uh, you know, a, a oh, frickin' Vermud. Ah, this is all day, y'all. And I know it ain't gonna get no better going to New Hampshire or Maine, but I'll be glad to be out of Vermud. Anyway, um, take a knee row at the hotel. It's Mother's Day, so I'll just chillax, call my mom, call the wife get ready to enter New Hampshire which is right across the border from where I'm staying and then uh, start heading to the whites one good thing I know it's gonna snow up on Mount Washington which means it's probably gonna snow up on Moose Lock but after that a couple days later they're gonna have some 40s 50s and 60s hit the area and the temps will stay above freezing at night so you know, there's always going to be the drifts hanging out there like there were on Little Killington. But, um, it'll be better than what it was when Kansas went over, I hope. All right, y'all. That's it for day 86. I'll show y'all the shelter maybe and then, uh, wrap it up. Doubt I'll have coverage tonight, so this will probably take a day or two to get to you. I had to turn the camera back on real quick because I just want to warn people, man. The trail after Killington is just not marked well. Um, confusing turns back there. I wasn't confused at first. I went the way, the obvious way the trail was going and ended up down by some road. So I had to backtrack back up this giant hill. Thank God for gut hooks, man. I would not night hike this at all. I don't see many people night hiking out there right now anyway. Sun comes up too early for me to do any, uh, dark hiking in the morning now, so that's good. But I'm not sure without gut hooks you can do this part right here.
it's hard enough in the daylight. All right, y'all made it to the Winturi shelter. For those tracking your books, it's a uh, mile marker 1720.7. I'm gonna throw the tent down, maybe, or just get some water and head back up to higher ground where there's a uh, reception, I don't know. But what I do know is, y'all know what's been gnawing on that wood. Yep. This shelter's okay. Somewhere out of the rain, if it was raining. This is the water source of the Winturi shelter. Awesome. This is gorgeous. Sweet. You know, as you get into camp, you do your pack explosion, which is behind me. Take your shoes off, start letting your feet air out, get your camp shoes on. And then I'll just sit here and I get mesmerized by the quiet. I've got a waterfall to my right. And it's just gorgeous, man. It's just gorgeous. Good way to end a 17, 18 mile hiking day. Just want to say goodnight to my family. I have no service here, so I can't even text them. However, point two back up the trail is three bars of 4G, so they always put these shelters right in the holes, man. It's like they did it on purpose, but maybe it's good. All right, y'all. Deuces. Oh, sorry. If you're wondering what I got on, this is that ex uh bug shirt. The gnats are pretty bad tonight, man. I put this on. They don't even come near me. Love it. Show y'all how we do. So this is my ramen setup right here, right? Tonight we're doing Oriental. That might be racist. I apologize if that was. That was my Oriental voice, my Asian voice. I have a pack of premium white chicken. So this is the last time I'm carrying two packs of this. It's pretty heavy. It's great. But I think for now on, I'm just going to mix peanut butter powder in with my ramen for my protein. But tonight, I'm doing both. So a little bit of pro uh, peanut butter powder in there. Give it that good flavor. A little bit of sea salt. A little bit of Frank's Red Hot. And then a pack of extra virgin olive oil. Look at that cool little pack. Found that in the store the other day. Those are awesome. So that's how we doing it. For snacking, I'm eating some uh, jalapeno Pringles. And for dessert, the Hostess Honey Bun glazed one each. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie to you. That's restaurant quality food right there. That's like I'm sitting in an Asian restaurant somewhere just freaking eating the best dish they had. So that's where the early riser ramen challenge now comes into effect. Let me turn the camera around. This is a call out to all the through hikers from this year. And I'll call out specifically Logo, Red Mage, Greeter. I don't know who else eats ramen. Greeter, I don't even know if you eat ramen. Red Mage, I'm assuming you eat ramen sometimes. I could be wrong. You might not be cooking. Um, but anybody that's cooking, and Logo, I know you still are. If you think you can make some better ramen than this, and I don't like the Oriental noodle style that much, I would rather have creamy chicken in there, and this would be over the top. But the Oriental's pretty good with this. So um, this is the ramen challenge. And we might have to have a showdown maybe uh, next year at kickoff at Amicola or something where we'll have the, uh, <laughs> the through hiker ramen challenge. Because I don't think nobody can beat that right there. That's out of this world.